Dallas Cowboys, Graham Poobah, Jerry Jones is the best and worst owner in the NFL. We discuss that bad side and how it's a cautionary tale for sprint car owners. All on today's edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9. Before we get into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and also check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarlimited.com. As someone who's been around the NFL, it's difficult to watch Jerry Jones run this team. It's not just the personnel issues or the lack thereof coming into this season. It's the constant need to be seen front and center, commenting on everything and anything after the game when he should be in the background trying to avoid being a distraction. To Jones, it's all about Brandon being front and center. He hasn't grasped the notion that less noise is better. So how does this apply to sprint car racing? It's the same process. It's all about decision-making regardless of the sport. And the takeaway from a guy like Jerry Jones is what not to do. The best sprint car owners are the ones who stay out of the way. They hire accomplished crew chiefs to spin the wrenches and run the team. The next component is the driver and finding the right guy who is a mix of talent and can develop the right chemistry with the guys working on the car. All the owner has to do at that point is let the guys do their jobs, which is trying to win races. It sounds easy, right? Hardly. But the top teams win in bunches on a yearly basis for a reason. It's getting the right people in place, good chemistry, less turnover at the key positions, and making the right decisions at the right time. Not every organization can be or even needs to be TSR and KKR. The formula works across the board. So if any owner is searching for the right way to build a winner, like the NFL, look at the top teams and how they get it done. The other option is to watch a guy like Jerry Jones and do the exact opposite. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned.